another beautiful day in the spring area. Get going on there, Bob. Get a little bitty airbrush out. Yeah. Little bitty airbrush. Um, oh, look at that. That compressor. Tiny, that tiny little compressor. Airbrush compressor. Yeah. That's what it is. You don't need a mask with this, huh? No, I'm, I'm, it's so little I'm putting in. But I want to show you guys something really cool here. Okay? I'll try to catch it. A little bit complicated, but I've got this set just for shading, okay? So you will, it will not show a clear, shiny thing going down. Now, when you use shellac as your sealer and grain filler after your actual grain filler, Okay. There comes a point, and I know exactly when that point is on Swamp Ash and all of them, but there comes a point where you're done. You're, you're on your last sanding. Now, you see these areas here, it's nipped through. That, 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 that's all there is to it. It happens. And, and I'm not going to put another coat on because my grains are filled, except for... There's a couple of grains here and there, and in the past I used to leave them like everyone else does and chase them out of the clear coat later. And that's not, this technique eliminates the need for that. Because So what I'm doing on these areas here that just came through a little bit, is I just put my standard shellac in my airbrush, okay? These areas I will not have to sand or touch. I'm bringing the color back and the shellac barrier back for that first coat of nitro clear that will go on this body. All right. A lot of it, it's just lighter, but I can tell this the barrier is still there, and there's going to be a brown sunburst right there. So I don't care about the color there. I don't care about the color Should I there. Should come around to the other side? No, stay right there. Here, I care about the shellac barrier right there. And this is a like a foggy finish that hasn't changed the texture at all of that last sanded with 400. The two things I'm doing is that is 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 coloring in the lighter areas, putting my barrier back, which is more important than color. Coloring in the areas right here doesn't mean anything because there's a brown sunburst right here. But I want that shellac barrier back, and it doesn't take much shellac is so sticky and digs into the wood so hard that's all I needed right there okay so now I'm going to show you the other technique before I flip it over and do that to the back and this just takes and I mean if all you had to do was that you could clear coat this in 15 minutes it, it wouldn't care but now I got the light right on my deep grain here I'm just gonna paint that grain away okay and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm doing a little more than shading right here. I'm gonna drop that on pretty deep right there. I don't like that grain. See, there's no reason you can't go for perfection before you touch the guitar. Clear is expensive. It's not designed to fill grains. Your sunburst certainly isn't. Shouldn't be filling grains. That will sand out flat now. I got a little one right here that I'm concerned with. It's tiny, but I want it out of there. This one is under the pick guard, but I'm going to, since it's so close to the other one, I'm going to have a tiny little block in my hand when I'm doing it. This one's under the bridge, but I don't like it. You'll know it's there. <laughs> These I don't care about. They're, I don't sand hard there. I, those might have come out, but I didn't even attempt it to do so. Sometimes this swamp ash has some grains that are just, even after all this filling, there are some grains that are just... Like the Grand Canyon. They're brutal. And again, yeah, a couple of coats of clear. That's cottonwood flying around today. I'm going to have to get this done and then wait till tomorrow to do any clear coating. But this is just a little tip with an airbrush 
You don't have to slap another big coat just because you, you are unhappy with a couple of spots. I've never seen anybody do this with shellac. I'm sure there's somebody out there who does, who's watching this going, Haha, I do the same thing. Now what I'm doing is hazing over that the glossy part makes it easier to sand when the time comes. It's funny because, you know, you can totally see the... It makes me see what's stuff, left, you see. ...stuff coming out of the other gun, but you can't see anything coming out of this. At least the camera's not You can not see on the surface when I haze over the top of yeah, that. Yeah, it's hard to catch it. Yeah, I know, but you can see it with your eyes, right? So now that I see that there's a tiny little I can spot, see what you've... Okay, let me so gonna, try to catch so, it here. So I'm going to open my gun up a little more here. Okay. All right. And I'm okay, gonna now go you back. can kind of see it happening. I'm going to go back and I'm going to... And I'm going to say now... Now that... That will sand out now. That one... These are real light. These are so light they're one scuff away from being filled. It was that one I didn't like. Just that one. But that one will annoy you on the guitar forever. In your rest of your paint job, you'll be chasing it and chasing it in the clear. Swamp Ash has that sometimes. Okay, so now I'm just going to go back to shading. I'm going to close my gun up quite a bit. Yeah. I see a place where you got to get it. i got to get Yep. that line right there. Sand it through your finish a little. But the, the slack is still there. It's just... It's not as thick. Yeah, it's just whited it out a little bit. But there will be areas where the shellac is gone, and then this is good enough. Good enough. The clear coat won't know the difference between this and what's right beside it. It will put it right back in for you. It's just a sticky grab for the shellac. I mean, for the lacquer. And, the, you know, you're sealing your barrier coat. All that. And this is like literally the final little thing, other than just block sanding these areas. Sure would have been a lot quicker to just put another big heavy coat on it. <laughs> well, then you have to sand that whole coat. Oh. And, and the whole thing is to not wind up with a thick finish, but to wind up with glass surface. And that's the with tricky the thinnest, part. You want a glassy surface yeah, with that's the thinnest the, possible finish. Right. That's is that the your tricky goal? part about painting guitars. I guess it's... Which is basically that. Um... That's the only way Swamp Ash isn't going to shadow through a little bit. No matter how careful you are here, if you start with glass, in two or three years, you'll have a slight shadow of those grains showing. And that's okay, because there's, there's, it, 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 there's no way around it. But what I don't want is, is a deep divot grain somewhere, you know, right from the beginning, or let alone later if, you know, you can tip the guitar in the light and see the whole pattern of the grain slightly sunk. Looks kind of pretty actually. Swamp Ash is going to do that no matter what you do unless, like I said, you use some kind of epoxy resin sealer and sand it with a machine. And you can do that, but now you don't have a lacquer finish. You might as well just finish the guitar on poly because putting nitrocellulose lacquer over something like that is, is to me a waste of time. It's a buzzword to sell a guitar from factories saying thin skin nitrocellulose thin skin nitrocellulose lacquer yeah but over what over an epoxy resin or what well, who cares now see so you might as well just finish the guitar and poly and do a really nice poly paint job right so um anyway this is your friend when you're on your last post and you don't want to mess with anything else um, you don't want to spray it again and have it sanded all i have to do now is block these little areas in a couple of hours and this thing is ready for clear. Oh, I caught it right there, the little wet spot. Oh, yeah. There they are. You got it? Can you see Yeah, them? yeah. I, I, it, it, I, I wasn't catching They were the, tiny the little right grain, stubborn before. grains like this mess here. And I don't even know how stubborn that is. I could have sanded heavier there, but I don't want to. There's no need to. That's under the pick guard. Okay. Alrighty. So we're all done. For another little short video. Yeah, peace out. Bye, y'all.